Good morning, folks. We're watching sunspots heading out of view, popping a few small flares. We'll run down the earthquakes, weather, and top science stories starting at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star zooming in to the departing active region. Released a few small solar flares on its way out of view, produced some coronal surges, but not much in the way of CMEs. We did hit C-class flare range one time from the region. It now lingers onward to the far side. Solar wind remains elevated in speed, middle purple panel, but up top the density remains low and that allows geomagnetic conditions to level off in relatively calm conditions. The progenitor of the faster stream is the coronal hole, IMF connecting to Earth. Top quake of the last day was a near blot echo event at the low velocity zone ceiling down in the asthenosphere there, originally reported in at 7.0. The snowstorm and cold event in Europe is underway, with more snowstorms forecast today. A flash flood event occurred in Afghanistan, killing between 30 and 40 people, reports say, as it inundated a low-lying stream. Looking back at Stromboli from yesterday's eruption, we do see calmer conditions this morning, but a ton of thermal energy still present at the peak of the volcano. Let's go to the science articles. ESA released their 2019 outlook, linked for you below, discussing their launches and missions upcoming this year, including a ton of exoplanet search and study. They also have inside footage of the satellite clean rooms and testing facilities. Pretty cool video. Up next, we're back at the global electric circuit for the second straight day to follow on the upper atmospheric voltage and current generator story to find it at thunderstorm levels now as well. The dissipative circuit is constantly refueled by space weather, transformed into lightning. Interesting story about Earth's oxygen outflow and how those ions increase their shell presence during space weather events, almost like a second shield. This is the same topic we turned into the super flood video now more than four years ago. It would need major updating today, but I did link it for you below in case you wanted to walk into the past a bit with that one. Up next, while many in the cosmology community are either stubbornly still searching for wimp dark matter or coming up with alternative models, the Axion search community is still alive and in the single most critical search report of 2018 they've created new constraints, which means they have another place they looked for it and didn't find it. A point for the team though, they're looking for a microelectric particle with piezoelectric searches. Now we'll go to the other galaxies because an even larger and higher level group searching for the strongest supernova have determined that about 40% of those nova are obscured from our view, and it could be as high as 65%. This not only negates the dark sector blame for extra star formation rates, but it implies a heavier, more abundant and obscuring dust component to those galaxies which is, of course, the best kind of dark matter there is. We are less than 40 days from observing the frontier 2019. Register now as both time and tickets are in short supply today. otf.cells.com We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.